What's up, y'all? Trey be dipping in the building. You know what time it is. Let's get right into it. All right, so as you can see, your boy got that AEM fuel rail. You know what I'm saying? So basically, today's video, we're going to go ahead and swap out the stock fuel rail um, and put in the AEM. So usually anytime you... uh swap out your fuel rail for an aftermarket one or performance rather um you are more than likely going to need one of these and this is a fuel pressure regulator um because you can run the stock fuel pressure regulator on that rail but nine times out of ten it's not really going to be as efficient um so what we're going to be doing along with installing the uh, fuel rail is we're going to install this uh, fuel pressure regulator run the lines to it and the whole nine you feel me what you think about that my mans I think he's lying <laughs> he's to nothing he's saying. damn <laughs> he like all credit has been removed right. he gets Nathan but um so a couple things that you're gonna need is on the fuel uh, filter stock fuel filter that's a 17. And then um, on the actual fuel rail right here. Hold up, you messed up. You got to do it over. I was supposed to do the Will Smith. Right. <laughs> right. But um, and then you got the 17 mil right here. That takes care of the fuel line. Um, and then a little pro tip. You probably want to open your gas tank before you do this and just relieve the pressure so it doesn't. It's probably still going to spill regardless, but. At least so it don't squirch in your face. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, and then there's three 10 mils holding the actual rail on. Got one right there. Yeah, I already cracked it loose. One right there. And then uh, you probably actually have to remove this line to get access to this last one. So you remove those three, pop the fuel line off, and then, uh, yeah, go from there. All right, so you can see, got the fuel rail off. I actually um, have these thousand cc uh, precision um, injectors in here that were already in the fuel rail. I put them there. I was just trying to troubleshoot if the uh, stock injectors were stuck open or something. And um, so I do have, I gotta put those in the new fuel rail. But um, now that I got that off, I got the uh, stock, fuel feed line off we won't be using that anymore um inside the uh the kit for the uh fuel pressure regulator you'll see a bunch of 6a in fittings um like these and one will be significantly smaller so the smaller one is the one that's actually going to go into the stock fuel filter location and it's going to turn that from a banjo fitting into a 6A in line. Just that easy. So, um, what you're looking at is a fully assembled <laughs> fuel rail. So, I got the injectors in there. 
Now this kit does come with all the necessary stuff like uh, well the, these fittings come from the fuel pressure regulator kit but the actual um, AEM um, kit that they supply you comes with some crush washers um, uh, this particular one for the H22, H23, F23 basically all the H and F series um, are set up like this now they are different so I will have a link to the description or I'll have a link in the description for this uh, specific one because B series it's not a Honda one size fits all the H and F's are different from the B's and the D's um, in the K's so um, if you're looking for this I, I will have a link to it in the description but like I said it does come with um, everything you need to plug all the holes that you're not using um, you can run like an OEM style it comes with like a banjo type bolt which you can use this actually I didn't know the kit came with this or I probably just would have reused the, the uh, stock fuel setup or at least the stock um, fuel hose but I think the AN line is gonna look cleaner overall so I'm just gonna go with that but it does come with this piece it comes like like I said it comes with new o-rings those are the old ones I took those off to put the new ones in and uh, yeah so we're gonna set this bad boy in there So your boy got the AEM fuel rail popping. See, I, I ran the AEM lines. You got that fitting from the fuel filter running directly to the line. And then the return line pretty much comes out, goes underneath the intake manifold and connects to the uh, fuel pressure regulator. And then the return uh, from the, re the regulator goes back down and across and then you can see right there is the return that goes back to the tank so I just got to connect that put a clamp on it and that's all she wrote and then I didn't uh, I didn't really record too much with the fuel pressure regulator itself if y'all want a, a full uh, detailed video on that let me know but basically this is how I mounted it I took advantage of the hole right here so I can adjust it and you can see the gauge it came out pretty nice so it's pretty much all plumbed up so what I'm gonna do is uh, connect that return line test the fuel pressure I'm gonna start her up get in there All right, you guys saw uh, testing the fuel pressure, testing for leaks. I did have some leaks off camera. Um, had to fix them basically on the fuel filter. Um, I had to uh, 
put a new crush washer and that stopped the leak and I had to tighten some stuff that I didn't I was trying to not to over tighten it but I just wasn't quite tight enough here and then and I had to tighten up the uh, the gauge itself yeah as far as the fuel rail itself looks really good man really good so um and I really like the way that the uh the mounting of this uh fuel pressure regulator went Actually, I think I'm gonna do this in my other Prelude too because I had a hard time finding a good spot for it, but I like this right here. It looks really clean and easily accessible for your tuner, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, she looking right, she looking tight.